welcome back to my channel and if you are celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving or if you are in Canada happy Thanksgiving to you uh, I this is a time actually to to truly be thankful and to be reminded remind yourself of the blessings that you have in your life uh, one way that I tend to do that uh, is by remembering uh, truly remembering 20 years ago where I was or maybe even you know 15 years ago where I was and what uh, I was hoping and dreaming of and to compare it to today uh, if you have achieved any of those hopes and dreams it might be time to give thanks it it's not necessarily has to be on Thanksgiving but seems appropriate so welcome back to my channel and if you are new here uh, both actually new and uh, people who have already subscribed please do feel free to exchange energy with me in the form of liking uh, sharing or subscribing it helps me a lot because i am trying to form a community and when we bond together someone who is intuitive is able to sense the energies in the community and can actually further aid and assist them with earthly matters if you may or non-earthly matters um, as you can see today's topic is about twin flames ah oh, where to start where to start with that one but I guess before I do get started with anything, let me express that I'm not here to explain what twin flames are. Uh, I'm also not here to uh, go through any definitions uh, with regards to twin flames, nor am I here to actually convince anybody that there is such a thing as twin flames. This video is done for whoever needs it. If you are to benefit from the information that I'm about to discuss here, you will find this video or this video will find you. So let's keep it at that. The actual reason I've decided to sit my butt on here <laughs> and do this video is um, because there is a consciousness there is a consciousness that is arising uh, right now on this planet. The time uh, and the space and the fact that we are all here together uh, is what urged me to highlight that one of the ways that consciousness currently is arising on this planet is through uh, twin flames uh, encountering each other. Regardless how long uh, how, how brief or how lengthy uh, this encounter uh, might be and how deep or how superficial this encounter might be. A lot of twin flames uh, are meeting each other and they could be literally uh, worlds apart, countries apart, oceans apart. They are being pulled uh, through whatever, you know, uh, forces uh, to to cross each other's paths. Now, there are other ways that consciousness currently is uh, is arising or increasing on the planet. <laughs> the biggest one was the last two and a half years, without me going into too many details. Um, now, the last two and a half years for triggering uh, were triggering for a lot of people, myself included. But what triggered it even more, uh, and I do believe I fall into a small category of people when I say this, is on top of the trauma of the past two and a half years that, that created healing within us and helped us grow and gain consciousness, many of us met our twin flames. And I'm not going to go into any ethical discussions about anybody being married, anybody being engaged, being in a committed relationship, have taken an oath. When you meet your twin flame, that's your journey for nobody, for nobody to judge but yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that aside. Uh, but I met my twin flame and I went through significant levels of trauma over the past two and a half 
years, especially with the face mask mandates for those who were following me in my previous, um, in, when I was a political activist, uh, there was, I will continue to mention this video because I don't know why this video was critical. It probably was taken down by the manager uh, uh, of uh, my previous YouTube channel. But that was a critical video in my own uh, trauma, healing and uh, spiritual awakening that I went to where I uh, sat on camera and expressed and cried and yelled about the the forced face um, face masks and then the, the 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 backlash that I received after I did that video further traumatized me because very few people nobody actually nobody that I know of sympathized with me at all at all if anything I was laughed at I was ridiculed I was shamed uh, so that further assisted in my healing. But on top of that, I was also struggling uh, with a twin flame uh, relationship and, and dealing with it. So that's uh, all I'm going to talk about with regards to me. Having said that, I have decided, <laughs> as difficult as this is, is going to be, to uh, do another video with my own, uh, as, you know, not too much detail, but detailing somewhat my um, uh, sort of my path with my own twin flame and how I dealt with it and my personal experiences with it uh, so that if you are struggling with the same or you find yourself in a similar situation that you don't feel alone because I had zero guidance and I had no clue what I was going through and I thought I was going nuts. So that video is going to be solely in my Patreon for those who are subscribed. <laughs> now, with regards to your twin flame, you can do your own research, uh, do your, you know, figure out what the definition is. Uh, multiple definitions out there, including people who completely reject in the spiritual community, reject the concept or the idea of a twin flame and a laugh at it. Um, but trust me that when I tell you that this is definitely going on, there is definitely a twin flame for you out there and you might be in the process of meeting them or you have met them and gone through it already and you simply just don't know. One of the things that I can tell you for a fact uh, about identifying that the person in front of you is your twin flame, regardless, male, female, I don't care. Uh, this, uh, this is energy. It, it goes a little bit beyond gender. And I'm not trying to be politically correct. <laughs> uh, your twin flame can actually be either gender, and believe it or not, uh, they can be here or not. They can be in higher, different realms, and you, you might be interacting and working with them. But there's a deep-seated level of attraction. Attraction at a, at a soul level, almost I would call it magnetism, that you find yourself suddenly feeling towards this person that you've never ever, and you truly have never encountered any, any such level of attraction before, to a point that if you're not spiritually awakened, you might fall head over heels in love with this person and begin destroying your your current relationships in order to be with them when you don't understand the reason that you've met this person uh, because twin flame relationships unfortunately unfortunately rarely work out um, and i'll go into that in a bit I did take some notes, but I really don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm just going to stop talking when there is no more uh, need uh, to talk. Uh, but you're going to find yourself deeply attracted to this person almost on the same wavelength. You both think the same. You both behave the same. The big, big sign, big sign... <laughs> Uh, is that you have a very similar, actually exact, uh, exactly the same core values. Uh, so let's say, for example, you value honesty. Your twin flame that will present themselves in front of you, will also that will also be their core value. 
their main thing is honesty. And suddenly both of you say, oh, wow, you're, you're the only person I've ever met that has this core value. And as such, you, you get trusted uh, towards this person and you become blinded. Sort of like I was blinded <laughs> with my twin flame. Uh, the area I live in does not give two craps about freedom. And my twin flame, their core, my core value, where is my tattoo? My core value is freedom. And that was the core value of, uh, of my twin flame as well. And that attraction alone is going to literally glue you together. Regardless the definitions, uh, regardless what you think a twin flame is, there's a soul contract happening between you and this person. And in many ways, one could say that the way I would describe it, you are cut from the same rock. So you feel like you belong, you mesh together. Uh, but having said that, there's a lot of triggering that tends to happen with twin flames. And I will explain uh, why. But before I go into why, let me just point out that although twin flames, you can have a soul contract with them, regardless how the period, the length of period, it might be a life, uh, lifelong uh, contract during this lifetime, a few days, a few weeks, a few months. Uh, but you, there is also something known as a karmic contract with other soulmates. And these people, you can either feel severe attraction to them, though not to the degree of a twin flame, in my own opinion, uh, but you can feel a severe attraction to them and equally you can feel severely repelled from them. So if you find yourself with people that you simply despise and hate and you don't want to be around, those are actually soulmates. They're here to help you heal. So rather than avoid them, which is the easiest thing to do, I, I do it. I avoid people. I don't, uh, I don't want to interact with people that I find triggering. Uh, but uh, a lot of the time, especially that one person that you really, really don't like, uh, you're being asked to, again, go within as difficult, as difficult as this might sound. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, with regards to the triggering that happens with twin flames, I don't want to use myself as an example, so I'm just going to sort of generalize. Let's say you are a spiritual human being or someone who is on, on the spiritual path, uh, you're aware of healing, you do your own healing, you know what shadow work is, and like you, you're, you're, you have that knowledge. And then you meet your twin flame and your twin flame happens to be a regular person who is not on the same path, uh, doesn't, didn't have or doesn't, uh, hasn't acquired the awareness or the consciousness that you have um, or the opposite. Your twin flame might be more conscious, whereas you're not. Uh, the attraction will remain there and the magnetism will remain there. But what ends up happening is a lot of triggering from one person towards the next. Uh, it, I have come to find that it doesn't matter who's, who's higher on the level of consciousness or who has a higher vibration uh, because the triggering is going to happen both ways. Nobody is fully healed. Uh, nobody has completely worked on all their traumas and has become a saint. Not yet. I don't believe so. Everyone gets triggered, even the Buddhists. You can see there's a, there's a meme <laughs> that I like to look at every now and then when I start getting triggered. It's of a Buddhist somewhere in Nepal or I don't know what, getting off a bus and he's like giving the bus the middle finger. Nobody is perfect. We all still get triggered. And it's really hard to go within when you're actually being triggered. It's, it's easier to go within afterwards. But there's going to be a lot of triggering. People who might identify as empaths tend to draw in narcissists. This is, you can go look this up. 
uh, narcissists tend to be attracted uh, to the light uh, of the empath, especially if the empath is not awakened yet. We emit light, we are givers, we, are, we, we tend to care, and narcissists like to feed off uh, this energy. And that is a very good example uh, for if you happen to encounter a twin flame where you are an empath and your uh, twin flame is actually a narcissist. This example is so common, I can't even begin to describe to you within the spiritual community. And then the triggering begins. And when I say triggering, I mean one person upsets another person, one person betrays the other person, one person begins to lie or control or manipulate the other person and the, the other person thinks, well, we are in a twin flame relationship. Why are you doing this to me? This triggering continues to happen and it is very, very characteristic of a twin flame. I call it a fiery uh, relationship. The fire begins to occur. If you're, you know, people will view it as toxicity. These two crazy people are always fighting. You know, I, I hope it never escalates to a point of physical abuse, but it can definitely escalate to a point of verbal uh, and even emotional abuse. Uh, and that's when you need to maybe take a little bit of a step back. In my case, my twin flame relationship ended me uh, with a stress ulcer. <laughs> so pay attention to yourself, especially if you're doing your healing, you're using your understand that this is uh, a relationship that helps you heal and you're doing your own internal work, your shadow work, your inner child work, but your twin flame on the other side is not. This will not lead to a, anything, a positive outcome. Ideally, both of you should realize what this is, deal with the triggering, and heal sim like, with, uh, on your own um, without projecting on the other human being. Sadly, what is more common than not is, again, one person is not as conscious, the other is more conscious, and the triggering begins, and the projecting begins, and the deflection begins, and the entire relationship sinks into some earthly uh, just toxicity, uh, and you end up breaking up. Rarely are two twin flames at an equal level of consciousness, and they take care of each other, and of on their own. You take care of yourself and then you take care of your twin flame. That is amazing. If you can reach that level or if you can have that with your twin flame, that will be amazing because, and I'm not trying to be too negative here, but I'm just trying to explain things in case you find yourself in a situation that is very similar. If you both are at a very good um, or, you know, level of consciousness or awareness. If you both are conscious, then you'll be able to do incredible work. When twin flames unite and they are able to see beyond the wounds, uh, the, the human wounds that we carry, and they are able to interact with each other, with, with each other at a soul level, the work that they can accomplish um, together can change this world to the better. This is a fact. Um, if if uh, they find each other, lots of ifs, if they are at a similar level, uh, you know, at par with consciousness, and if they are truly seeking the healing of the world, a person comes to mind with regards to this uh, Esther Hicks or Abraham Hicks. Uh, I find I listen to her channelings a lot and I listen to her uh, teachings a lot, though I don't 100% agree with everything she says. Uh, I believe uh, her husband, Jerry, uh, sort of transitioned a few years ago, but Esther Hicks and her husband, Jerry, are a good example of people, I believe they are twin flames. Uh, though I never actually heard her refer to herself and her husband as twin flames. But if you see the work that these two people have accomplished and the teachings 
that they have uh, accomplished and, and distributed throughout the world. That's a very good example of how people of similar consciousness, when they work together, can alter the reality uh, of this world that we live in. Another person that I truly enjoy is Eckhart Tolle. And though I don't find Eckhart Tolle's wife at the same level of consciousness that he is at, uh, they are still working together, doing incredible work to shift and alter and increase the level of consciousness on this planet. If you are not, you will find that one of the twin, flame, uh, twin flames or one of you is very selfish and very earthly centered, where you are more, uh, I guess, etheric, uh, you know, more bigger perspective, more focused on healing of yourself and as well of the world and improving uh, the world. Uh, so that won't really work out. And again, that's another triggering thing. That's what I came on here to talk to you about with regards to Twin Flames. Um, I do hope it helps. If you find yourself in a situation uh, that sounds like you might be, it might be a Twin Flame situation, feel free to uh, message me, uh, even to consider joining me in my Patreon. Uh, there, I'm hoping to build a community of like-minded people, open people, where there, there is not much attacks and we can openly discuss these things without ridicule, without shame and without guilt, and without judgment. But I did feel the need to put this video out. I hope it resonates with you. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you'd like to hear more uh, about Twin Flames or any other topic, again, please let me know. Thank you for being here with me.